morning, Phil. Good morning, Phil. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Your hat is just a little bit big. Yeah, I noticed that. If I talk long enough, it'll fall off. And then I can ask you to get it, and you'll turn me down and not get it for me. Your hat wet. Started on things. Good morning, dudes and dudesses. Welcome to the Ligonier Church of the Nazarene in Ligonier, Indiana. And we're glad to have all of you here with us this morning. Bill. Mama. Hi. Mama. Why are you so lively this morning? I had an extra cup of coffee. <laughs> Caffeinated. <laughs> Star duck. <coughs> okay. Say, uh, how's your job going along anyway? Are you still at Walmart? Yes. Yes, dude. Yes, brother, dude. I'm still at Walmart. And uh, you're doing what? I'm a greeter there at the door. What are the requirements for being a greeter anyway? You have to have a cause. You just have to be able to greet. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get to the lesson now. Okay, let's, uh, let's do get the lesson. Uh, We're in uh, Romans chapter 5, I think, is one of the scriptures you're going to use this morning. And so let's uh, talk about that. This is a special holiday. Yes, it is a special holiday, uh, Phil. I'm glad you remember that. And uh, we're going to uh, uh, pay our respects this uh, weekend uh, to our vets. Oh. Who? Our vets. Dude, I don't like that word. Can we find another word? Well, I guess we can. That sounds like dog food. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not what we're going to go then. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Phil, we're going to pay our respects uh, to the men and women who served in our country and in our armed forces and our friends and uh, neighbors and everything and uh, we're going to uh, pay our honors to our veterans veterans yeah dude what i don't like that word either you don't like the word veterans no don't you know what it reminds me of no i don't know what it reminds you of well veteran is an agreed the issue they're veterinarian. Okay, we're not paying homage to the veterinarians. No, I don't think so. So, uh, what do you recommend then for, we call these people that uh, have made the supreme sacrifice and have given their lives uh, and uh, have defended uh, the honor and freedom sorry. of their country? Well, I'll tell you what I think, brother and dude. I think we should call them heroes. I think that's more appropriate than anything else. They are truly heroes. Those that serve and why oh, she's a cute little thing. <laughs> no, no. Gamma. Hello Gamma. Hello Gamma. I seen her move on her flag a while ago. Yeah, she waved at you probably. Yeah, I thought so too. Okay, uh, so heroes. Phil, for once I think I like something you suggested. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that. Okay, so we call them heroes. You know, while we're celebrating, though, there's something we should keep in mind. What's that? Well, you know, there's one real hero that sometimes gets left out. And Jesus made the supreme sacrifice for all of us. To the forgiveness of our sin. And we need to remember them too. Not just the ones that are cast on, but our Lord and Savior. He's blessed our country in so many ways. He's watched over us, even at times where we didn't deserve it. And those are good with you on your right. There's been a few times. So, rather than 
do is I think I'd like for you to do these updates for me. What's that? Well, I think it would be neat if we all said the pledge of allegiance to the fight together. So, Brethren Dude, will you tell them to stand? Will you stand with me, please? God bless you. Brethren Dude is going to lead us in the pledge of allegiance to the fight. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless you, Hecking Memorial.